Well, it's interesting because we think about it um, in terms of generations. Yeah. Because we observe the behaviors to be very different by yeah. generations, specifically in this product. In fact, I don't think that I found that to be a terribly useful tool as in anywhere else that I've been okay. before this. But okay. It's incredibly useful to us. Hmm. Um, but that's not the only segmentation. The segmentation that we do, there's like uh, psychographic segmentation. Okay. So we have, we've looked at all consumers for these products in North America, and then we've divided it into six different groups of, of customer customer types. Um, one of them is the fashionista. You've yeah. heard that word before. Sure. Uh, one of them is the modern minimalist. Hmm. Okay, so if I just take those two customer groups, they are very different yes. in their values yeah. and what they want to turn right. on. You know, this customer, I'd probably recommend a body by Victoria. Mm -hmm. This customer, I'd probably recommend a very sexy. Right. You know, and so we're looking for um, those psychographic cues that are telling us what products they're interested in. And then we have like a value segmentation right. that tells us like what prices are they willing to pay? How often do they engage? How much do they spend? Yeah. So you cross-reference all of those things and you start getting to how often should you talk to someone in the top 10% of your customer base that's a fashionista and what would you say to her that's different than you would say to the modern minimalist to get them in the door? Yes.